Hi, my name is Trevor. I just thought I'd drop a quick video out because uh, I'm on a walk with my new hiking boots on. And we'll come to that in a minute. But backtracking a bit, what happened? Probably about a year ago, uh, put a bit of weight on as you do. And uh, I thought myself I need to get a bit fitter. Started uh, walking the streets, did a mile every day just to do something because, you know, my job is heavily office based. Um, get your blood going again. And uh, started to build up two miles and then three miles. And I was doing this daily and uh, the weight was starting to drop off just by doing that. I lost over two stone just by walking the streets doing like three, three and a half, four miles a day. Um, and then um, I pulled my Achilles. And go if anyone's ever had an Achilles heel problem, uh, tendon problem, sorry, they'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, I went to see a physiotherapist and he told me, Get yourself a pair of boots, mate, because uh, when you start to increase your mileage and increase your pace, you're getting in a place where um, you're going to give yourself an injury, and that's exactly what happened. So I did all the research, as you do. Uh, I wanted to get it across country a bit, a bit of serious hiking, as you're building it up, building up your, uh, your interest. Did all the research, went into a few shops, tried a few pairs on, and I settled in the end for the uh, Salomon... 40 GTX boots. Seen all the videos, walked around, go outdoors in them. Thought, yeah, good boot. I was advised, invest in a good pair. Um, so I did. And I ordered them online. I found a deal online, ordered them online, and uh, quickly realized that I'd ordered the wrong boots. I actually ordered the Salomon uh, Element Boots GTX, which they feel a little bit lighter compared to my first choice. Uh, when I first realized this, oh God, I'm gonna have to send them back. Anyway, cut long story short, the boots rocked up. Um, I tried them on, as you do, in the house. Walked about in a bit and bit in them, and I thought, oh my God, these feel really comfortable. You know, for anyone who knows the, the Salomon boots, the high, um, they really grasp around your ankles. And when you first put them on and you do the laces and you tighten them up, I just couldn't believe how comfortable they were. So I thought, I'm going to keep these. So I went out, did two miles a day in them just to break them in, so to speak. But to be fair, I probably didn't have to do it because I've never had so much as a pinch of pain a blister and now I'm doing five miles a day um, but I'm starting to get heavily involved with the countryside now as you can probably see um, it's, uh, it's a lovely area around here to walk through the countryside but today it's particularly muddy and I thought oh this will give it a good test and to be fair it's held up and as you can see from the picture on the uh, advertised in this video you'll see you know I put, put it in water I was standing in the water for about two and a half minutes and no water came in so you know a good solid waterproof boot my Achilles tendon is still painful but you know what it stabilizes it and I can still put a trot on with it on so I'm absolutely delighted with the Salomon Element GTX boots and I absolutely advise anybody if they're looking for a good, sturdy boot with a bit of flexibility in it and uh, it can take a bit of punishment. Uh, uh, yeah, it, listen, it ain't cheap. I think I paid, well, I paid £118 online for these. But the various prices, if you hunt about, you can get them more expensive and you can get them cheaper. But I am so pleased with these because I, they, they do a job, you know. They do a bloody good job, these boots. And I'm so pleased with them, as I said. Anyway, that's it from me. Speak to you all soon. Bye.